be right back. I wasn't joking. Um, I'm going to start this one right where we left off. While I check some stuff, just give me one minute. There we go for that one. Yep. I've got everything set up now. I am good. I'm going to go right back into doing what I normally do, which is running around like a hat out of bell, I mean bat out of hell. I'm going to turn off my mic and I'm going uh, to continue playing because, uh, yeah. Bye. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about this. Get him, boy! It's over! Get him! Sick of Toggle. Get him, boy. Let's make this quick. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Oh, curse my luck, a branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait, that's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You want a Marfrys, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Laid out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? All right. 
right. I suppose that... Hey, that's what I'm talking... I'd wager the greedy bastard just stood over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce is name it. All right. Off you go. I really enjoy how the quests are mostly lined up right where we need to go. So I can go around killing stuff and make extra EXP just by completing a quest that I would have done without knowing I'd done it. Bryce. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought a pet beast served us well, Bearer. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Out of our way. There, boy. It's over. Impressive. Get him. Get him, boy. Over here. I am not gonna pass up easy EXP. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. His area seemed a very different place back then. I'll pass up that uh, Minotaur from earlier because yeah, that's just gonna be annoying. I don't want to fight that for like four minutes. Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. 
<laughs> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. We survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> Do you think you will stay here? in Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years. Without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, 
Why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. Survivor's guilt. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Oh, let's go. Wow, wow. We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Mediana. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you mask baby? Old clothes. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. So basically, I upgrade that blade for nothing. Yay! I could have saved money. Salad. Come back soon, now. You 
you. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house, and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions, been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives. And that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? 
Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceroy stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to street. Thank you. We'll keep... Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. Patrick the chocobo keeper. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am. And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly... That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you... Ah, so... Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about... He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. Understood. You keep such... Thank you. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? someone over there it might be him we should hurry company we can't lead them to the old man they need to die agreed get him 
Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you... Wait for me in Eastpool. Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness, and now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's the blight is on our doorstep. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stay behind... We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But... Is it really that... So bad, I eat... But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our face. I know a man named Sid, who would glad... Leave this with me. Thank you, my... Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I sh Regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah? Yes, of course. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. Give me one second, I'll be alright.
Okay, sorry about that. I was talking. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. <clears throat> we won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the last life force. And problems are all that's left. As I was thinking earlier, there's going to be probably one of three ways these these two end up. A together. B one of them is going to sacrifice themselves like Final Fantasy 15. Or C they're probably going to end up killing each other. But with how it's been, I'm guessing A. They're most likely going to end up with each other. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. I get about ninety five percent chance of them ending up together. The other five is probably one of them's going to be sacrificing it to uh, the per themselves. About my prediction. Interesting. I'm gonna do that uh, side quest later. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Could anyone? What is it, Togo? He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. It's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? 
It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apoditry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Are you sure about this? Never more. And they're gonna meet the brother. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. really be a fallen ruin I could hardly call it a ruin it's perfect like it was built yesterday have you ever seen anything like this please don't be a puzzle I suck at those I'm doing combat. I just like puzzles. What do we do? The usual. By the way, to my viewers, I welcome you. More trouble. any of this this must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell
This place is bloody massive. Looks like it could take a beating. Then let's give it one. My wounds, boy! To you? None. Let's find the hooded man and leave. They're friendly. Get up! Oh. Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too. No. At least not that I ever heard about. 
I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. Oh, fuck me. Why is it always these fuckers?
trying to figure out which one's the Rook's Gambit. Gouge, Deadly Embrace, Wheel, Rook's Gambit. Oh, I don't have that. Kind of useless. Oh, I almost have enough for that. Anything else I don't need? Spam these out and then I don't really need them, but hey. Don't care about Phoenix Shift. I care about increasing damage temporarily, and I'll refund those things and get what I want. I swear to God, this is some type of boss battle. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Give me 10 seconds, I'm gonna pause this. I am back. I don't like this. Boss battle. Sword and shield block combo. This is going to be Friggin' annoying.
This is our chance. Sick of talking. Over here. There, boy. I have a feeling they're about to become a hell of a lot more common. It's gonna suck. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? Probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Some kind of mural. It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Two boss battles in a row. All right, then. You know what to do, boy. Good. Too slow. Boys. 
That was a lot easier than the last one. It would seem this place holds even more. I'm completely fine with that. did something let me guess I gotta do both sides and go back to the middle and blah 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 probably some type of bridge is gonna appear or the thing in the middle is gonna work option so it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. What's in it? How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years. Ifrit and the Phoenix fighting. I don't know. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? 
Some sort of god. It's freaking Ifrit. You're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? That's one of the predictions I made. Some weird hallucination, some vision. What? And it's a giant boss arena. You can just see it. Vision of the past. I, I, I did this. I killed him. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Clive. Joshua. <laughs> I'm sorry. I failed you. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared the bayi. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Accept your inner darkness, become one with it, you will learn to control it. And with this he learns to control his Aeon.
Unfortunately, I gotta fight a fucking. I gotta fight Ifrit. Really? No matter how bitter the truth that awaits me. Please don't make me fight Ifrit. I will press on. This is gonna suck balls if I have to. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. That was easier than I thought. Maybe phase two? Or is he gonna tame the power? Tame the power. Nope, phase two. Lovely. Nah, I had to fight myself. Probably the exact same skills and shit too. Still you deny it. Even when the truth's staring right at you. Come on, Clive. Face your fears. Yeah. Yeah. 
wake of winds! I'll be able to do that soon. I see. You'd have me that by example. Just waiting for the gate to fill. I'm probably going to transform right now. No escape, eh? It's alright. I'm done running from you. Together. Time to find out who we are. 
once and for all. Show yourself, Ifrit. I probably should just stop damaging because it's not doing shit, which means a cutscene. Pull on four one. I've been calling this out since the very beginning. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No 
I'm not chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. So the temples to accept the Aeon, whatever they're calling it in this game. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother, and burn this castle to the ground was me, Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet... They're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. He's not the brother. What the hell? It looks so much like him. Titan. I can tell this by how he's one. Tell me who did this, or I'll see you suffer the same fate. The man who delivered who who delivered the coffer said he said Sid paid him. <sighs> I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him, and all his filthy brood. 
and send every last one of them to hell. Out. No! Yes, yes, my lord. Benedictus head, probably. Something like that. That bitch's head. So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. I'm gonna stop this one here. Okay, back at... I'll restart it in 30 minutes.